where the mighty Mekong meets the sea, we find a confluence of energy. This is where the principal powers of nature, earth, water, air and life merge. We are here to utilize one of the most elemental energies of all, wind. Wind is pure. Wind is pure potential. Wind is pure potential power. We call this energy flow the high winds of the south and we at UPC are here to harness them. We're here in Vietnam because we see this project is an integral part of the developing world taking that first step into its clean energy future. Vietnam's under an immense transition right now and has huge economic growth, as well as trying to steer its path towards a zero carbon future. It's made bold commitments to the year of 2050 and it needs developers to come and build that future. That's our objective and we chose to be here because this area will be at the forefront of climate change issues. But let me tell you, this first project that we've built has been probably one of the toughest onshore wind power projects I've ever seen anywhere. And it's had to have been one of our greatest challenges here in our company. We are a leading renewable energy developer in the Asia Pacific, a region where we believe the clean energy transition is just beginning. We are here in the Mekong Delta because we see Vietnam as a new and exciting market. A project of such uh, complexity and magnitude is like a one huge jigsaw puzzle. Therefore, to be successful, we engage only with the finest. We hire only those we believe can implement our vision. We use the best technology money can buy. Ultimately, we dream, we develop, and then we deliver. At UPC, we supply cheap renewable energy by installing cutting edge wind turbine technology. On this project, we are digging the deepest foundations and erecting the highest towers in Vietnam. Our 165 meters tall, Vestas V150 turbines are tapping into what we call the high winds of the south. Vietnam is undergoing enormous changes. With rapid economic growth and a simultaneous energy transition, we need tremendous investment into the country. Bold commitment by the government during COP26 have set our aim to achieving net zero by 2050. The opportunity for us is vast, as well as the need for billions of dollars from international capital. Running our finance team requires that I ensure we invest sustainably with stakeholders while form a solid partnership. Our shareholders believe in Vietnam's future and it's my responsibility to raise capital to invest in this bright future. UPC plans international experience with local expertise to build profitable projects while providing low-cost sustainable power. Vietnam and especially the Mekong Delta is one of the world's most vulnerable regions susceptible to climate change and rising sea levels. We Vietnamese feel it's imperative that this country decouples power and energy production from emissions. Wind power is one of the positive ways to do that. One of the reasons I'm here on behalf of UBC Renewables is to bring environmental awareness to my fellow Vietnamese. Their future prosperity means a lot to us, and education is key to combating the pressing issues. We are all in this together.
the people of Vietnam and the Mekong Delta are facing an era of exciting transformative change. Our nation is moving forward economically at high speed. And as a result of that, we are facing immense environmental and social challenges. My job at UBC as well as my colleague Mr. Yu is to go speak to the people, learn about what they need today and what they hope for tomorrow. Adequate health care, affordable electricity, food security and a healthy environment are some of their biggest wishes. This is a special place around here, around Sok Trang. This is where the Mekong River meets the sea. There is a real confluence of wind energy here. We choose this area for its exceptional wind capacity factor. We have an average wind speed of 6.5 to 7 meter per second. Once the Lakwan Hordang wind farms are completed, we will have a total installed capacity of 60 megawatt. That will be generated through the 16 Vestas turbines each strategically placed across 20 hectares. Our power will be supplied to the national grid over 17 kilometers of purposely built 110 kV transmission lines. We are delivering clean and affordable energy to the people of Vietnam for the next 20 years and beyond. Tôi tin rằng năng lượng gió giúp chúng ta hít thở dễ dàng hơn. Tôi ghi nhớ rằng hầu như nhà máy điện gió không thải khí CO2 vào khí quyển. Trong vòng từ 3 đến 6 tháng vận hành, một túi binh gió có thể cân bằng cho tất cả các lượng khí thải được sinh ra trong quá trình xây dựng và hầu như không thải khí carbon trong suốt 20 năm hoạt động còn lại của nó. Đó là lý do tại sao với tư cách là một kỹ sư điện, tôi đã chọn từ bỏ tham gia xây dựng nhà máy nhiệt điện để tập trung nâng cao kỹ năng thiết kế hệ thống điện khử carbon. Sóc Trăng có nguồn tài nguyên gió rất dồi dào, thế nên chúng ta đã chọn nơi này để phát triển dự án của mình. Cùng với mong muốn có được sự đồng hành của chính phủ, chính quyền và người dân địa phương, vì chúng tôi hiểu rằng tài nguyên gió thuộc về tất cả mọi người. Tôi là một trong những thành viên đầu tiên của UBC thực hiện tham vấn cộng đồng tại khu vực dự án. Khi gặp gỡ với các bên liên quan và đặc biệt vào người dân địa phương, chúng tôi luôn chia sẻ rằng chúng tôi đến đây để hợp tác cùng phát triển. Dự án của chúng tôi là xây dựng và vận hành nhà máy điện để sản xuất năng lượng tái tạo cho mạng lưới điện quốc gia, góp phần cung cấp điện năng sinh hoạt và sản xuất đến mọi người. Để có mặt bằng thi công, chính phủ đã triển khai công tác giải phóng mặt bằng, tạo quy đắc cho nhà máy. Tại đây, Chúng tôi đã phối hợp với chính quyền địa phương, hỗ trợ tài chính giúp cho người có đất thu hồi, ổn định đời sống, sản xuất và phát triển, cũng như nâng cấp cơ sở hạ tầng thông qua các chương trình trách nhiệm xã hội. Chúng tôi xin nhắn ngọn rằng, mọi người sẽ cùng có lợi từ sự hiện diện của chúng tôi ở đây, kể cả hiện tại và trong tương lai. Our mission statement is, we dream big, we build tall, we develop quality, and we've been reaching to new heights on this project, literally and metaphorically speaking. Everything about what we achieved here has presented a unique set of logistical challenges, and it all started with the river. We consider our success points very carefully, we use the river in channels to our advantage, we float components in to save our time and road transport costs. We built a local network of jetties, bridges, and secondary access roads, all to the benefit of the community. We met Sitkov schools and we found solutions. We used only the best and highest turbines. We don't cut corners, excuse the pun, because when you transport 75 meter long plates by truck on village road, you can't. We use smart tools and hire smart people. This is our first wind farm in Vietnam. What our teams have learned on this project, we apply to the next, the next, and the next. This is just the beginning.
with a 90% renewable share of capacity, which is among the highest in the region. At ASEN, we aspire to be the largest listed renewable platform in Southeast Asia, with a goal of reaching 5 gigawatt of renewable capacity by 2025. We also plan to be a carbon neutral company by 2050. So, going forward, we'll only invest in renewable energy. And that's why we are here in partnership with UBC. Our relationship with UBC spans seven countries and growing. And together, we've built several first of a kind projects in a very difficult market. This is our first project in Vietnam together. And we are building the tallest turbines. So it is an extraordinary challenge and a rewarding experience. Together, we have a trusted and hand-on management team that has allowed us to overcome many challenges today. Combining this effort with our shared commitment to the highest international standard and business ethic has produced a great partnership. I'm here with UPC after 25 years of working with gas, hydro, and coal because I'm totally convinced that the future is renewable energy. It's all about sustainability. It's all about cost. Why production prices are rising in the other energy fumes like oil and gas, renewable energy equipment costs are falling. Solar and wind are become ever more competitive. We as a renewable energy company understand this and we are here offering our international expertise to help Vietnam meet its carbon neutral targets by 2050. I think UPC foreign expertise in the wind farm construction combined with understanding local ganja and customs is a recipe for success and this is happening under my supervision and why i'm excited to be at upc it's all about teamwork we're here to lay down the building blocks for cooperation between government upc teams and the community communication and trust with stakeholders are very important we provide corporate social responsibility programs to the wider community aligned with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. We are committed for the long term to provide local roads, provide water and sanitation for schools and homes, and have provided solar street lights to homeless that have no lights at all. We are here as the development partner for the country. Education is a big part of our focus too. We invest a lot of time in face-to-face -face public engagement. We want people to understand who we are, why we are here, and what we are doing. Our seminars and monthly community meetings are about explaining the importance of renewable energy and how it is created. And we take pride in expressing how renewables will greatly benefit them. We enjoy explaining that our projects are breaking firsts in the country and how this community is at the forefront of technological advancements. We plan to sponsor further technology programs to bring advancements to aquaculture farming here as well. Our corporate social responsibility programs, project affected people directives, Sustainable development goals and budgets are an integral part of UPC's commitment to making Vietnam a better place to live. I'm responsible to manage the company and direct it forwards in such a way as to ensure this project and all others are a success. Not just for our shareholders, but for all stakeholders, including the country, the province, the community, contractors, landowners, everyone. For the last 30 years, UPC has been a pioneer of renewable energy projects around the world. And I've been a part of that story for the last 10 years. It's an exciting opportunity and a great time to be a part of the energy transition. We have a great team here and we're hoping to accomplish a lot more. And when we look for wind projects, we try and go to places where others will not go because it may be too difficult or the journey may be too tough. 
we like to go to places that are perceived as difficult and find hidden value in projects. Overall, our goal is to bring down the cost of renewable energy so that is ubiquitous and used by everyone. We hope we can drive this forward well into the future. I'm here to coordinate the transport and logistics. To do this job, you need to be very organized, plan ahead, be flexible, and adjust to things as they come up. Synchronization is the key. We call it SimOps, where we need to make sure that we know what everyone else is doing and what we are doing, and we coordinate uh, all our operations together so that we don't get in each other's way. It's like cocks in a wheel. We need to know what we're all doing at the same, same time. Some might call it a logistical nightmare. I just look at it like a chessboard where we need to know all the moves, 10 moves ahead. The transport logistics are tricky. We're moving oversized sensitive equipment, very large and very specific along rivers and beside shrimp ponds. And we don't really want to impact the local people or their livelihood. And we don't want any scratches or damages to the equipment. There's a lot of places where things can go wrong, so you need to be very careful all the way. Our job is to install the mighty V150. With these turbines, Vestas takes onshore wind power even higher for the stretch nearly a quarter of a kilometer into the air. We are tasked with assembling these giants carefully. As an installation engineer, I know well the smart tool we use, things to make things safer and our workflow more efficient. Ultimately, we owe it to our colleagues and clients flawless installation time and time again. It's all about teamwork, diligence, and using the most advanced hardware and software system we have at our disposal. I came here to work with the clients and the team of our team, which is the team of our team. The team of our team is about 60 people, and we will have people from Vietnam ที่เป็นคนในพื้นที่มาร่วมทํางานกับเราอีกประมาณ40คนคนทั้งหมดนี่เราจะทั้งดูแลทั้งเรื่องการขนส่งชิ้นส่วนกังหันไปยังจุดติดตั้งในการประกอบโคเคนที่ฮัสแตนนะครับการเตรียมชิ้นส่วนของกังหันในภาคพื้นดินการวางแผนการเตรียมงานยกการติดเพื่อการติดตั้งนะครับแล้วก็ต้องประเมินพื้นที่ในการทํางานทั้งการจุดยกล้างในแล้วก็รวมถึงแรงลมฟ้าฝนด้วยซึ่งเราจุกชิ้นงานที่มีขนาดใหญ่เราเลยต้องระวังเรื่องพวกนี้เป็นพิเศษทือทัศน์ดำมังตัวเด่นเพื่อเยื่อแองของอูบีซีเพื่อเกี่ยวเยื่อแองเรื่องเล็งดินย้อนละควางมาดงที่ đó là một cái sự thử thách lớn đối với tôi và công việc hiện tại là tôi phụ trách điều phối chính toàn bộ công việc ở công trường cùng với nhà thầu chính nhà thầu phụ và cũng như giải quyết các cái vướng mắc liên quan tới chính quyền địa phương và người dân địa phương để làm sao là dự án được triển khai một cách thuận lợi và đảm bảo đúng chất lượng, tiến độ và chi phí đặt ra. Với kinh nghiệm điều phối ở các dự án nhiệt điện cũng như là solar, thì với dự án lạc hoàng hòa đông hiện tại thì đã hoàn thành công tác lắp đặt và sẵn sàng cho công tác chạy thử trong tháng sau, trong tháng 8 2022. Thì với cái định hướng phát triển của Việt Nam sắp tới về năng lượng sạch thì tôi hy vọng cùng với UBC và ACNG sẽ cùng phát triển thêm nhiều dự án nữa ở Việt Nam để mang cái nguồn năng lượng sạch đến với Việt Nam. We hired Vestas because they make a great product. As global leaders in wind turbine technology, we asked them to manufacture ours to a customized height. We wanted the tallest turbines in Vietnam. For the higher we go, the faster the wind. But this height comes with immense challenges, especially building on the Mekong Delta soft soils. 
This has been a highly complex build. Let me explain further. So to put up these enormous towers, we have to choose specialized engineering contractors to design and build innovative and first-of-a-kind solutions for piled foundations, roads, and bridges across a labyrinth of shrimp ponds, dikes, roads, canals, rivers, and more. Experts we needed, experts we hired. Oh, and building around shrimp ponds presented us with unique challenges too. The project's located amongst a complex integrated network of interlinked canals and ponds, elaborate irrigation and water flow systems that can't really be interrupted and are connected to each other in complex ways. We had to think about that when we were designing and building the project. And it's been immensely satisfying to me to see how my teams have contributed to building this community.